Before we get started, can you think of any reason why your waist measurement might not be accurate today? No. Great. In order to take your waist circumference, I need to touch your waist on either side of your body. Is that okay? Yes. Thank you. I will also need to find the tops of your hip bones on both sides of your body. The tops of my hip bone is here. Can you help me find the tops of the hip bones on your body? Okay, thank you. Now I need to be able to feel your hip bone. Would you mind raising the bottom of your shirt just to expose the tops of your hip bones? Great, and would you mind if I clipped your shirt in the back to hold it during the measurement? No. Now I'm going to place an adhesive dot on the tops of your hip bones. If you wouldn't mind, please leave these dots in place until I'm done with the measurement. <clears throat> First I'll find the top of the hip bone on the right side of your body. Would you mind facing the wall and raising your right arm so that I can uh, feel for your hip bone? Thank you. I'm just going to rotate you halfway so I can check the placement of these dots. Okay, everything looks great. Rotate you again one more time. Now I'm going to need your help to make sure that I get an accurate measurement. Can you please grasp this metal rod with your right hand and then pass it around to me? I'll pick it up on the other side. Thank you. I'm also going to ask for your help if you could please hold the edges of this tape with your thumb and index finger very gently over that adhesive dot. Stand still and breathe normally. I'll take the measurement. Okay, now we'll repeat that measurement one more time. Again, if you can grasp the metal rod with your right hand and pass it around to me on the other side. Thank you. And one more time, if you could hold this tape over the adhesive dot, again, very gently with your thumb and index finger. Still and breathe normally while I take the measurement. Terrific, we're all done. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you.